must understand that we are in a constitutional democracy. And in a constitutional democracy, there are spelled out rules, regulations, processes, and the procedures of doing things. What government had done is definitely in the larger interest of the Nigerian society. Basically because if you take the so-called offensive tweet or the tweet that Twitter said violates their court and they put it in context, what is abusive about that tweet? Is it a fact or is it a lie that Nigeria fought a civil war? Is it a fact or is it a lie that in that civil war, millions of lives were lost, properties beyond which uh, uh, you, you cannot even quantify in material terms, in terms of loss of lives, loss of property, loss of man uh, hour, loss of infrastructure, loss of, loss of, loss, all of this. Is it a lie that Nigeria did not pass through all this? But is it a lie also that when you are on the Twitter, because I am always on Twitter, and I see the kind of hate that is being uh, 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 played out on the social media, and especially on Twitter, by young men and women who actually correctly, as the president has said, do not know the history of the country, where the country is coming from, and therefore where we are headed, and are trying, either deliberately, or out of ignorance, or as, or, 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 or as conduits of certain forces, to tweet things that largely have far-reaching security implications for this country. I think contextually, Twitter, if it had done its homework, would have seen that there was actually nothing harmful from what this president has said. Welcome back. Well, yes, indeed, uh, the conversation continues about federal government suspension of Twitter. We've heard from the members of the House of Representatives. Mr. Femi Fallon, a senior advocate of Nigeria, joins us next to give his perspective on the matter. Good morning, and thank you for joining us. Well, when you, Good heard, morning. When you heard this announcement in the first place, what was your thought? Well, my thought was that... Uh the the memo that I, I was reminded of the memo secret memo that the attorney general was alleged to have uh, forwarded to the president to allow for immediate suspension of the provisions of chapter four of the constitution that is the human rights of nigerians uh, to allow the government to deal with the crisis of insurgency uh, the crisis of insecurity in the country. And so I, I simply thought, oh, we are back to square one, you know. Uh, my mind also, I, I was also reminded of where we were in 1984 when we were told under Section 3 of this uh, Constitution Suspension and Modification Decree signed by the then military head of state, General Muhammad Obuari, that a law could be made either by uh, true broadcast or through any other means. And here we are, we are being told now that it's a law and that Nigerians can be tried under a law that has not been uh, uh, um, uh, enacted by the National Assembly. So we are fully back to an era whereby the provisions of chapter 4 can no, longer, can no longer be said to be in force in our country. And for me, uh, that, 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 for me, that was very, very, that was very, very terrible for me. Before, I mean, you came on, we listened to the DG of the NOA saying that we are in a constitutional democracy. I mean, leaning on that, you would, I mean, conclude that 
that secret memo that was said to have been passed has not taken effect. At least he says we are in a constitutional democracy. So, uh, in a constitutional democracy, how should this sort of issue have been handled? In a constitutional democracy, the government is not permitted to resort to self-help. And that point was abundantly made clear in the case of the Attorney General of Lagos State and the Attorney General of the Federation regarding the seizure of the funds belonging to uh, local governments in, in Lagos State because the president did not like the fact, because President Obasanjo at the material time did not like the fact that the Lagos State government under Governor Bola Tinubu had created additional local government. And the, and the Supreme Court made the point. We are not in a totalitarian regime. Once a dispute has arisen between the president All right. and the governor and the government, you have to go to court to resolve the dispute. No power, I mean, no government in Nigeria is permitted to resort to self-help. In this particular instance, states were under a constitutional democracy. Uh, what ought to have been done was to have sued Twitter if the organization would not respond positively to the concerns of the government. Yeah, well, we keep uh, losing that Rather, signal. Or in Ghana, here, the federal government could have filed a match in the United States of America, or in Ghana, here, uh, which currently uh, houses the headquarters of the organization in Africa. But on no ground can the action of the government be justified. Because, uh, Chamberlain, here we are talking of 40 million subscribers, Twitter subscribers. The fact that the ego, the profound. Respect. The justification for denying. The, for the rest of the. And that is why we have to appreciate that. When Louis said, like I said, more, I am the state. No, we profound respect the president is not Nigeria. And there is a difference national security and security of any individual in the country. And we have to balance the interests of the president and the interests of the Nigerian people. Again, we are not back to the era of the military, where when some of us were arrested for under the pretext that we have violated or embarrassed the government of Nigeria. No, national security is different from individual security of officials of the government. Well, but but Mr. Father, is it? Uh, how do we separate the interest of the president and that of? Uh, his office or Nigerians, as it were, because I mean, if he uh, he's elected as the president to ensure that things are done, he protects the integrity of the country and assure ensure that things go well. Is it not going to be very difficult, especially when he says, "Look, that uh, a certain kind of had tweeted several times, and then they were supposed to have deleted it. That wasn't done, so they." thought that there were a series of events which made them suspect that something was amiss, hence that uh, decision. Again, this is where uh, I'm going to appeal to the government to be more circumspect when matters of this nature arise. Whereas we were told that 
Twitter deleted an aspect of the speech of the president, of the statement of the president, that was suggestive of launching a genocidal attack on the people in the southeast. That is the area. It's not about, oh, yes, we had a civil war. Oh, young people are not aware of what happened. But in respect to the head of the National Orientation Agency, the senior duty of the government to that agency. And in Nigeria, as young people in some parts of the country began to make separate demands, it's not the duty of the government to have a dialogue, enter into a meaningful dialogue with them. Oh, this was when we went through under the civil war. Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what are your grievances? Can we negotiate? And we have had that situation in this country before. I mean, I, I defended some of the militants in the Niger Delta. And we have to make it clear. We have to make it abundantly clear. That, you know, the government ain't going to win this war unless you sit down with disagreed young men and women. And that was what culminated in the amnesty granted to the militants. Now, and the country was better for it. This regime had entered into dialogue with some terrorists, you know, and pardon granted amnesty to them. Those who were ready to, we were told that those who are ready to abandon terrorism will be accommodated by the government. And they were sent to schools abroad. And we did warn this government, we did advise the government. Don't criminalize anybody asking for your own country and the country of your dream. You know, don't criminalize them. They want, they are also exercising their right to, uh, 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 because Section 20, Article 20 of the African Chapter guarantees the right of Africans to self determination. If people now say, we want to separate from Nigeria. It is the duty of the government. To those who want corporate existence of Nigeria, retained to educate them. But if in our schools, history has been expunged, how do you expect young people, particularly those who are under 30, or even under 40 now, to know what people went through on, you know, when we for the civil war between 1967 and 1967 um, and 1970. So for me, the government must appreciate errors have been made. The government must move quickly to address the conditions that led to uh, 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 the publication of many of the events that the government consider offensive by Twitter. But you don't throw away the baby and the bathwater. The government, including the president of our country, the vice president of our country, and ministers, including the attorney general of the federation, have had calls to tweet, to, to get messages to Nigerians through their Twitter handle. Now, yesterday, we were told that the attorney general of the federation, who are threatening over the weekend to prosecute Nigerians, for using Twitter or for not or for defying the, the suspension of Twitter in Nigeria. The Attorney General was yes, in fact he announced yes that he had just deactivated his own Twitter account. And people are asking how did you log in if you had you know uh, violated the, the, the ban on on the suspension I mean, the suspension of uh, uh, Twitter. So there, there are complications. And ultimately, I mean, what is, the, the, what is important for all of us is to appreciate, like the DG of NA just reminded us, we are in a constitutional democracy. And where a law has criminalized, hate, genocide, and so on and so forth, government officials, Individuals in the country must, must 
coteau pour du roof. Well, Stafalano, one of the things that comes to mind, you know, readily is uh, part of what you have said earlier, but then you, when you mention the United Nations, uh, the Declaration of Human Rights comes to mind, Article 19 is quite famous now. It talks about, you know, what people ought to do with the, and the fact that everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and all of that, and expression. Um, this right includes freedom to hold opinions without uh, interference and to seek, receive and impact information and ideas through any media and regardless of frontiers. I believe that Nigeria is a uh, signatory to this as well. Would you call this uh, Nigeria crossing the line of its own agreement in the international community? If this is, what then should be the next line of action and by whom? Well, Apart from the ratification of the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights 1948, Nigeria has also ratified the United Nations International Covenant on Particular Civil Rights of 1966. But beyond the ratification, of this instrument, Nigeria has entrenched 39 this freedom of expression, including access to information. Article 9, in addition, Article 9 of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. Gas action. So what the government has done is to infringe the right of Nigerians to access information, to freedom of expression. And what should be done, therefore, is to challenge if the government will not review its position and revise the decision to suspend Twitter and thereby deny Nigerians access to information, what should be done is that consistent and organization should be encouraged, of course, not to take the law into their hands, but to Well, Mr. Fala, let's see if we can put this I in. We, okay, we keep losing the uh, connection. Okay, go ahead, please. No, I'm saying that what should be done is to challenge the of the government in court. And Serap had gone to court, had approached the ECOWAS court yesterday, since Nigeria courts are, 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 are been shut down again for over two months because of impunity. This is the way to go. But the law. Okay, let, let me just put this in uh, as we, you know, begin to wind down. What wonders can... I, I, I was listening to the PDP club. And, oh, okay. Uh, and I was quite, you know, I, I, I was just asking myself, what is going on here? Because in the last 22 years, you know, it's the same, it's the same game that members of the ruling class or the, or the political parties or those who are in power do not believe that Nigerians have a right. So we have to beg for our rights. I mean, so when uh, uh, in this country, I had defended journalists, you know, uh, who were charged with sedition, a law that was declared illegal in 1983. You know, journalists were charged under it, under the PDP government, for publishing that a newly acquired debt, presidential debt, Develop problem, and so they were wondering whether it was a second hand plane, a Tokumba plane, you know, as they call it in Nigeria. And for that reason, they were charged with sedition. And there are other instances, you know. So, all the members of the political party, 
you know, whether you are in or outside power, must appreciate that Nigerians fought for their life. And that was why the Court of Appeal said, in the case of what on one coin, the state, that those who are in power, who may feel irascible by publications in the media, should learn to go to court to sue for libel, where they will put their own character in issue. But on no ground, should Nigerians allow the government to, you know, abridge the freedom of expression that we have fought for? Because according to the court, criticism is indispensable in a democratic society or in a constitutional democracy. That's a very uh, interesting place uh, to leave it. We do thank you very much indeed for your perspectives. Mr. Femi Falana, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Thank you very much. All right. We'll be back and take a look at your comment, your right to express yourself. Uh, so uh, just give us a moment. We'll be back. <laughs>